One of the most amazing features of Android is its limitless customization option and using a launcher is one of the best way to customize your phone. Now launchers can completely change the look and feel of your phone and even it can make your Android phone look like another Android phone. For example, make your phone look like a Google Pixel device. So hey guys, it's Vignesh back with another video and in this video, let's look at my recommendation of some top 5 free Android launchers. Now all these launchers that I'm going to mention here are different for different kind of uses. Some are best preferred and some launchers are best in simplicity. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you can know which launcher is best for you. Now let's get started. So number 5 on the list is this launcher called AP15. Now this is something that is very different from other launchers and also something which is very small in size. Just 286 KB. Wow. Now here, all the apps are listed in a scrollable homepage and on the homepage there is no app icon. The only thing that you will see is the names of all the apps which are sorted in alphabetic order. Now by default, all the texts are in same colors and the size of the app shows how frequently you use them. The more you use the app, the bigger will be the size of the text. Now talking about customization option, this launcher comes with very less customization option. Here you can change the color, font and size of the text. Now the other options are hiding apps from home screen, add background image, change notification color etc. And in pro version you can get some additional customization options like advanced rulers, background pattern etc. Now one difficulty that I felt while using this launcher is that here there is no search icon. So you can't actually search for an app by just typing the name and at first when I just tried to set this launcher up, some texts were very small and it was very difficult for me to find some apps from home screen. But after changing some colors and making the text size bigger, everything worked fine and my home screen was looking very nice. So altogether AP15 is a very minimal and lightweight launcher and the reason why I just chose this launcher in my list is because it's something very different from other launchers. So the next launcher in the list is Niagara Launcher. It's a very minimal and easy to use launcher. Now this launcher has a single home screen setup where you can place your favorite apps and all other apps can be accessed by just scrolling on either edges. So you can either scroll from right or you can scroll from left of the home screen. Now I usually like to use my phone with one hand so here in case if I want to access all my apps I will just use my thumb and I don't need to actually use my other hand for doing this. So I think this feature makes this launcher optimized for one-handed usage. Now another feature that I really liked is how it organizes all your notifications and also how it helps you to effectively interact with your notifications. Here you can just swipe right on the app to access all the notifications of that particular app. And one interesting thing that I really liked is that here it also has a smart reply feature. So you don't need to actually open WhatsApp or even pull down your notification panel to just send a reply. You can just send a reply from your home screen itself. So I think it's a really useful feature. Now as far as customization goes on, this launcher also has less customization option. Here you can change the icon pack, icon size and shape, you can hide alphabet from home screen, you can hide app names etc. So it's a pretty basic customization option and this launcher is not for someone who loves to play with a lot of customization. It's for someone who really needs a clean, smooth and a minimalistic experience and who loves using their phone one handed. Now before moving to next launcher, if you are just liking this video then please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new videos. Now if you need a launcher which seamlessly integrates your phone and your PC, then Microsoft Launcher is the best that you can get. Microsoft Launcher makes you more productive across all your devices. It has a feature called Connect to PC which helps you to view your document in your PC. Wow that's cool right? Now at present this feature is only limited for some Microsoft apps like Word, Excel, OneNote etc. Here swiping left from your home screen brings you a personalized feed where you can see different cards and it's a nice way to interact with your calendar activity, your task, sticky notes from your Windows PC, recent document that you worked on etc. And all these things can be linked to your Microsoft account. So if you change anything from here like adding an event in your calendar, adding a task to do, all these things are automatically updated in your PC. Now here you can also see a timeline tab which provides a complete list of all the activity across any devices connected to your Microsoft account and timeline is a nice way or a new way to resume past activity that you have started on your PC and your phone. Now the other features of this launchers are a built-in Microsoft voice assistant called Cortana, a built-in scanner, an expandable dock where you can control some system shortcuts like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth etc. And this launcher also comes with a nice customization option, here you can change the settings of dock app drawer, home screen setup, your feed, set Microsoft to Bing wallpaper and also you can add some gestures too. 
So this launcher has a good customization option and what makes this launcher unique is that it seamlessly integrates your phone and your PC. So overall, Microsoft launcher makes you more productive. Now let's move to top 2 launchers and the second launcher in my list is Launcher 2. Now this launcher has almost all the features of stock Android like app suggestion, at the glance widget, a dark mood, a seamless integration of Google feed which can be enabled by just downloading log feed and most importantly it has snappy and smooth experience just like a stock Android. So it's pretty much a replicate of stock Android and what's more interesting is that firstly it's completely free it does not have any in-app purchases and secondly it also has some additional customization option that you won't get in stock Android like a more customizable at a glance widget where you can view your notification recent playing battery status while charging etc. Here you can also add folders and tabs in app drawer, support for using multiple icon pack at the same time and also support for using different phones in different places and so on. Now all these features can also be seen in some other launchers but what makes this launcher more like a pixel launcher or a stock android is that it looks and feels just like a stock android or a pixel launcher. Here the snappy and smooth experience, the animation, the transition and even some small things like the spacing between multiple icon, spacing between icon and test the dock height etc looks almost like a stock android. So if you are looking for a best pixel launcher alternative then launcher 2 is probably the best. Now to be honest this launcher deserved to be in number 1 in my list but in one area it lags behind the number 1 launcher and that's in customization because this launcher does not have too much customization like that of the number 1 launcher of my list. So moving on to the next launcher which is the king of customization and it's a Nova launcher. So if you are using launchers for a long time then you probably might heard of Nova launcher because it has been over 8 years since it launched. Nova has been a very popular launcher over the years because of its large number of customization options, a very smooth and snappy experience and because of some other cool features like an amazing backup and import feature which helps you to import a layout from your previous launcher. Now by using Nova launcher you can pretty much customize everything like it has all the basic customization options like ability to customize home screen, app drawer, dock icon etc and what's more interesting is that this launcher also allow you to customize some minute details like ability to customize minute details of search bar, completely customize the folder of your home screen, completely customize your icons, even you can make a custom icon shape, change animation speed, scrolling speed, app opening animation and there are a lot more. So for most people Nova launcher can be a best option and if you need a launcher which has a fast and smooth experience and a launcher with a limitless customization option then even the free version of Nova launcher is a great option. But keep in mind that there are some features that are not available in the free version like support for gestures, notification dot, support for folder and tabs in app drawer etc. So if you really need this feature for free then there are other launchers like launcher 2, microsoft launcher etc. But other than that, the free version of Nova Launcher still has a large number of customization options. So these were my picks for some top 5 launchers and I know there are also some amazing launcher like Smart Launcher, EV Launcher, Action Launcher etc which I didn't mention in this video and these launcher can also be a great option too. Now let me know which launcher do you like the most in the comments below. Now if you just like this video then please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and also make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when I post my new video. So hopefully with that being done, it's Vigny signing off and I'll catch you guys in my next one.